Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay. If this is your first time here, welcome. So today's video is to do a review on a pair of Christian Louis Vuitton shoes. And before I get into that, uh, I wanted to just talk about you know the buying process and then also a little bit about the brand. So if you are starting your designer collection or you're looking to add a style, I really think you'll enjoy this video. So just to quickly talk about the buying process, you know, back then I used to buy these shoes, these designer shoes, and I wasn't really thinking about comfort. I wasn't really thinking about my wardrobe. I would just buy them because it was in the latest issue of Vogue or it was on the runways and I just had to have them. So I would go and spend all this money, you know, in all these shoes and then I would wear them. And, you know, like an hour or two hours into wearing these shoes, I was like ready to cry. I couldn't deal with the pain and I was frustrated. And then I would go back to my $10, you know, flats that I just bought on 34th Street. So, you know, I just, just go home and put them in the box and I would shove them in my closet and I wouldn't see these shoes for months. So I was very, very upset. I was very angry with myself because I made a stupid decision on buying these shoes and I couldn't wear them. So, you know, then I started to notice that I was still having a little bit of pain and I ended up just going to a doctor, you know, a, podi a podiatrist, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> and I, you know, I noticed I had small bunions and, you know, I went to a couple of different doctors and I don't mean to get off topic about the review, but if you are interested in learning more about that type of surgery, let me know and I will be more than happy to talk about it. And, um, you know, they would tell me not to worry about it. I was still young and I can, you know, take care of it later or just, you know, buy bigger shoes or different styles. And I used to say, no, I'm not doing that. I'm very, I'm still young. Like I want to wear these fashionable shoes, but I also don't want to be in pain. So, you know, just, just a quick, you know, background. I, I got the surgery and I did it back to back, which is not recommended, but I did it. And I did it right after having my son because I was not going to have a walking baby and I still had jacked up feet. <laughs> it was not going to happen. So I made sure I took care of it and I'm very happy with the results. Um, so that was one thing. And then, you know, when I was going through this whole healing process, I saved up a lot of money. And I also had saved up my Amex points, which I love. And I said, all right, I'm going to go to the Saks Fifth Avenue in the city and I'm going to go and look at Christian Louis Vuitton. Now, his brand is, you know, I think we all love it, men and women, but I think more so us women. And I think that when we wear his shoes, we just feel like we're on cloud nine. Like we feel powerful, we feel motivated, and we just feel like we can do anything and it makes you happy and i'm all about that you know if a pair of shoes is going to give you that happiness then so be it and you know i was very um motivated to wear his shoes but then i had also you know heard all these people talk about how they loved his style and his shoes but you can't really walk in them so I didn't want to go through that whole thing again. So I made sure when I went to the store, I told the sales associate, I was like, look, I, I want to spend some money here, but I also want to be able to try on different styles because I want to make sure that it's stylish and yet comfortable. So, you know, very, very, um, I want to say pleasing and very, very nice. And so the sales associate came out with like 15 different styles. And one of the styles that he brought out um, were the Corneal, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is the box, and it's the Corneal 100 millimeters in patent leather, and I wear a size 39. And, you know, I have a love and hate relationship with patent leather, and I'll get into that in a second. I just want to show you the beautiful shoe. So this is it. And I think what I liked about this shoe was the asymmetrical style. And I think that's why I say I have a love and hate relationship with patent leather because patent leather for me back then was like, I don't know, I just thought that shoes were very ugly. And, and I, you know, I have, I'm an eight and a half, but um, sometimes my feet look bigger in certain styles of shoes. And when I would wear like these regular patent leathers, it was just look, my, my, 
my feet would look bigger and it just didn't look right. So um, I kind of stayed away from it for a while. But when he brought these out, I mean, I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. And I can tell you that I was so impressed because they're super comfortable and i was sold and i didn't get the other color because i wanted a different style in a nude but i wore these i think maybe like a week later uh, out to a party somewhere and i can tell you that i was wearing these for hours and i didn't think anything of it i had no discomfort whatsoever and you know i was very very happy with it and you know my buying process now is that i make sure that i can wear these shoes you know you're looking at i think these are 670 or 690 something like that us dollars so you're spending quite a bit so i want to make sure that i can wear it with jeans and slacks and you know with a dress and you can do that and you would be you know, in style and in comfort, which is what you want when you are buying this particular brand. So, you know, I think the only thing that I was concerned about was the care for these, because I know, you know, with the patent leather, you know, with our natural oils from our hands and stuff, like I tend to touch a lot my shoes, so you can definitely leave the mark. But, you know, the sales associate just told me to just buff it because, you know, these get scratched very easily. So I just, you know, buff it with a little cloth and it works and then also he mentioned to get the plastic um what is it um any like invisible invisible shield i think is what i got and he told me to get this at best buy and that's what i did and you know i just put that at the bottom of the shoe and you can see the dirt um but i also didn't do such a great job because i messed up the shoe right there and i think this one has it too yeah it does um, but I can tell you that, you know, doing this also, um, has worked because I don't have to worry about it. And, you know, another thing too is, um, when I take off my shoes, I make sure that I clean them. You know, I just tend to do that with all the Lux goods that I have. I want to make sure that they last for a very, very long time. So, you know, I just, at the end of the night, I just take, you know, either a wipe or something. Again, everything has to be fragrance free because I don't know how it's going to treat uh, the leather. Uh, I just wipe it down and then, you know, I just put it in the box and it's, it's pretty much, you know, it's set, it's ready to go. And I can tell you that if you decide to go with this style, I can guarantee you if you're a planner like myself, I tend to plan out my outfits for the week, you know, you would wear these two or three times easily a week and you would definitely get your money's worth. So if you're looking to add a style, I highly, highly suggest, you know, this particular one. I would definitely leave all the information below. And, you know, the heel is perfect. And, you know, I'll, I'll put them actually on right now so you guys can see them. I'm actually wearing jeans, which is the reason why I'm sitting on the floor. I wanted to show you guys. Um, I think if you go with this particular style or if you're looking to, and you know, again invest i guess in christian louboutin you can't go wrong with these so i'll just go ahead and move the camera and there you go so they're just beautiful shoes i think you'll be very very happy let's turn around and today i'm wearing you know these red jeans but again you know you can wear these with um sorry guys you can wear these with uh you know jeans and slacks and and i think you'll be very very happy just like i am so i hope that this video was helpful again if you guys want to know more about that type of surgery please let me know and i'll be more than happy to talk about it i'm not uncomfortable talking about it i'm not embarrassed by it by any means you know it was a problem that i had and you know, I took care of it. And before I started investing in these high-end shoes, I needed to, to fix it. And I did. And I'm happy both ways. So let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to share the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.